Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwame Yashi Allah, Kuhuloyimla, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bahashim, Rekahakwadash. Now, by honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. They just want to save the water to all the Aki Manakwa. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Not going to be long at all. Just wanted to um, touch on this article with um kevin o'leary if you uh hell he could be a jake too <laughs> but anyway you know this is the guy from um shark tank you know you see him on shark tank making those deals this hey so this you know he he's in the business world and he knows about business or uh, you know or businesses and money small large whatever but anyway i wanted to um you know touch on something that he was talking about because america is is uh babylon the greatest through he says, um, I live in the real world. Kevin O'Leary warns the U.S. has a crisis emerging thanks to the breakneck speed of interest rate hikes. Here's who will feel the most pain. Right? Uh, let me see. It says Ke Kevin O'Leary is worried about a crisis emerging in the United States. In a recent interview on Fox Business, the entrepreneur and television personality was asked if the small and mid-sized mid -sized businesses he works with are becoming more optimistic about the economy. No, that's not what I hear. And I live in the real world, he said. Right? He said, um, O'Leary expressed his concern with rising interest rates and with further rate hikes on the table. He worries it could push some business businesses into deep distress. Small business optimism ticked up recently. The National Federation of Independent Business Small Businesses Optimism it Index Slakia, increased 0 0.9 points. Okay, we, you know, we, okay, yeah, well, we can get it off. Increased 0 0.9 points in July to 91.9, although that's still lower than the 49 year average of 98. O'Leary believes the numbers mask a, a deeper issue. We have a crisis emerging, he said, referring to the 10 consecutive interest rate hikes the Federal Reserve has imposed since March 2022. And hey, they've been doing it. I mean, you know, we've been reporting on it, man. It says these rapid rate hikes that have occurred and the unprecedented speed of these hikes have put small businesses in a difficult position. The cost of capital has gone through the roof. Now, you already know COV-19, you know, with the coal you know, the jump shot went down and all that stuff like that. Those two years of, of, of you know, people having to, you know, put on masks and, you know, not being able to go here or there. And it just, hey, that killed a lot of um, small businesses in general. They, they, they been hit. <laughs> they been hit. Hell, even the churches have taken a hit. The churches are even, uh, <laughs> are even shutting down, man. So this place is falling, man. It says, um, O'Leary believes smaller companies are particularly vulnerable. If you're in an SP 500, you have no trouble financing your business, he said. You can't say that about small business businesses anymore. He goes on to highlight the fact that small businesses with five to 500 employees represent 60% of the U.S. economy, which is why this li liquidity, liquidity, Crunch is a concern. We've got a real crisis coming here, he said. When the Fed raised rates another 50 basis points, that's going to make it worse. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. Says, uh, okay, okay, I think that might have been the end of that article. But, uh, hey, he's telling the truth. Let's see what some of these comments say. I'll grab a scripture or two. Yeah, of course, they, you know, anyone supporting the Democratic Party in 2023 is a complete moron. You really can't be more stupid and um, delusional in 2023 if you support this socialist agenda, thinking that your place, thinking that your prices are going to go down. Hey, look, oh, Joe Biden done the business, man. I think we need Joe Biden back. You know, it don't matter between him and Trump, but Joe Biden is really of tanking this place. So we need Joe Biden to come back. <laughs> yeah, hey, but Trump, hey, he talking about coming back, man. He bringing in the guillotine. He talking about public hangings, basically. <laughs> hey, so either one of them, it don't matter. But the Lord has already 
it's already set, man. It's set in stone for whoever's going to come because somebody got to come through and, 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 and keep wrecking this place. And, you know, so we can get to the point of, you know, them, them, them nuclear buttons being pushed, man. You see what I'm saying? But people tight, man. This person, let me see. Uh, this person says you're living in the real world making millions of dollars a year while the rest of us struggle to pay rent, utilities, and have $200 or less a month to buy food for a family of five. I just done a lesson on that on, on something like this yesterday. I just done a lesson on something like this yesterday, man. I was talking about the, um, the Edomite um, lady, and she was telling me about how he, she don't eat. And I was thinking like, you know, like I, I didn't know what she was really talking about. And then she went further into it. She was like, shit, she got five kids. They come first. And if there's any scraplings left on their plates, basically, I eat that. She's working two jobs <laughs> Try, trying to do the trying to do the thing, man. Trying to do the thing, man. So it's people out here, man, that's struggling, man. And it's going to get worse, too. <clears throat> This person says, um, everything is collapsing. Don't forget, millions of illegals. See, they always want to blame shit on illegals. But it's your own fucking people, man, that's fucking you over. Don't try and blame that on the illegals. America been falling. America been circling the drain. <laughs> shit, these illegals is not coming in here. And what are they doing? What, 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 what? Why aren't you complaining about your, your government giving billions and billions and billions of fucking dollars to Ukraine over there? Why aren't you fussing about your government, your U.S. of A, giving billions and billions and billions of dollars uh, to Israel and all these different places? Anyway, let's go into some scripture, man. Slock you. Didn't mean to rant. This is a beautiful thing, though. I'm going to the Apocrypha real quick. Ecclesiasticus, um, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 25 and verse 7. And it reads, there be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tenth, I will utter with my tongue a man that hath joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And that's what we're witnessing right now. We're witnessing the fall of the Edomites, man. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are Israelites. All these other nations, these heathen nations, they have us in slavery, man. They've been getting down on us for hundreds of years. And now it is time to repent, basically. Hey, I mean, you know, that, that's the number one key thing to these lessons that we do. You need to repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. The true name of the Father is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. And he's coming to save and deliver the children of Israel. Out of the hands of our enemies. Because they've had their chance to run, man. They'd had a nice run. Hey, you, you, you damn Edomites, y'all, you so-called white people, man, you have had a beautiful run. But it's an earthly run. Our run, when we get down, when the Lord comes and the kingdom is set up, and I pray that I'm a part of that. And you, you brothers and sisters that's listening as well, that we are a part of that. Getting out of here on the first try, on the first go. Getting into them chariots when 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 nuclear missiles are headed this way. We're praying for that, man. But you damn Edomites, y'all been living good for a long time. Because you were blessed. Matter of fact, let's get that. Um, what is that? Go to the Old Testament real quick. Genesis 20. I think it might be 27. Let's see. 27 and maybe about. So like you bear with me real quick. Because you Edomites have been given the fatness of the earth, man. I was just out in an Edomite neighborhood, you know, um, at the plantation. Man, when I tell you, man, and every time I go out there, I, you know, I had to always, <laughs> you know, repent, man, to you. How about Shimmy? I was shy because I don't want to be, you know, seem as if I'm being um, envious, envying um, Esau. But, man, when I tell you these goddamn houses, is, I can put my little single family home. Into one of those big ass houses about five times. Motherfuckers out here got spiral stairs going down to the lake. They got yachts and boats and shit. Hey, Esau living good. And even just your regular Edomites. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they, they, they living decent, man, in, in, in this place, man. But them upper ones, the ones that's like, 
that's, you know, shit, man, man, motherfuckers living good, bro, but that, but the Lord is breaking all that down, he's breaking all that down, and these damn Edomites out here doing bad, man, uh, let me see here, though, because I want to get to the blessing <clears throat> that Isaac blessed Esau with, oh, yeah, verse 38, let's start here, now, if you're familiar with the story, I don't want to read all of it, but if you're familiar with the story, this whole movie, everything that you see around you and going on throughout life right now, it's all about Esau and Jacob in the, in the scriptures, man. Esau and Jacob are the, the main stars or the main characters in this movie, right? And this is the part where Rebecca basically overhears um, Isaac telling Esau <clears throat> that he's about to bless him, you know, because um, of course Isaac, our forefather, was, you know, getting ready to, you know, basically pass away. He was getting old. He was, bl you know, blind, you know, so his eyesight was bad and all that stuff. And anyway, he told Esau, go out, give me my favorite um, venison meal, so to speak, and, you know, come back and I'm going to bless you. And Rebecca overheard it and she had Jacob go in and basically take the blessing. So this is the reason why, one of the reasons why the so-called white man, he hates you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans because of that blessing. And then also, Jacob also got that birthright. Because the birthright goes to the oldest son. So, you know, Esau really kind of double fucked himself. You know what I'm saying? So lucky for the language. But, you know, because, you know, it is what it is. It, it was all, all a part of prophecy. But he, you know, he messed himself over. So, um, you're going off into this blessing. And this is what, um, once Jacob went in, got the blessing, you know, of course, Esau, he's crying and all this other shit. But anyway, let's start here at verse 38. It says, and Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. So he's crying. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. That, that, this is why they live so well, man. But it's falling now. Now it's starting to cave in. It's starting to come to a, you know, an end, man. And they're going to go out warlike, man. They're, they're not, they're, you know, they're not going to just, you know, bow to that, man. They, that's why we tell you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, when you're out and about and you out, and you, hey, go do your shopping, you know, go to the Walmart or wherever it is you got to go and get the hell away from those damn Edomites, man. Because they're about to start getting real vicious, man, and they're, and they're actually cowards. They, they'll jump grandma. They'll jump big mama, man. They'll, they'll <laughs> for real. So be careful when you're out in these areas because, like, even with that Montgomery brawl down there on the boat, hey, they see shit like that and they they pissed. And then you got this, you know, this Trump and and and, and Biden shit that's going on where these people are about to be going nuts during this damn election, man. So you could have a civil war break out at any point in the game, <laughs> right? Okay, but it says okay. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. And of the dew of heaven from above, and by thy sword shalt thy live. And see that 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 goes off into his military might. Cause Esau been running throughout the earth, you know, that you know, back in the days, you know, you would call a sword, you know, you something you pull out, and, but that sword goes off into his Black Hawk helicopters, his his um his fighter jets, his um, you know, his submarines, you know, them nuclear bombs. You know, the, <laughs> the nuclear weapons, all this shit this man got. He has perfected the weapon. He has perfected the sword. And that's what he was blessed with, the fatness of the earth. That's how we know who Esau is. This is, a, this is one of the, the greatest clues to who Esau is, man. He's got the fatness of the earth because he's everywhere living lovely. Living lovely. When I tell you lovely, <laughs> but it's crashing on them though. Now you start to see them on the news, like up oh, flood here, fire there, climate change, and, and all they going to do, they blame everything on damn climate change. But no, that's the Lord judging them. It says, "And by thy sword shalt thy live, and shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck." And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing. Wherewith his father blessed him, and Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand, then I will slay my brother Jacob. And that's what Esau been doing for, for quite some time. 
Esau, the so-called white man, and he's been fucking, uh, uh, you know, you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans over, man, for centuries. And he's going to pay for what he's done. And now it's about that time for that payment. Hey, it's like getting up at the restaurant and, and you know, the damn waitress bring you the bill. You not walk, you know, <laughs> you, you know, yeah, it's time to pay. It's time to pay, man. It's time to pay. Time's up. And that's it, man. Esau kingdom is falling. And, 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 you know, the scriptures talks about, um, me, in fact, let me get that. Let me see, uh. Was the second address six and nine? I think it is. Yep. It says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of that. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. See? So Esau's world is about to end. Now it's going to be a role reversal. Jacob's world is about to start soon, you know, when our Lord comes, man. And Esau ass is going into change. Let's get that. <laughs> It's a beautiful workout too, man. The Lord working it out, and we we're watching it play, man. We're watching it play out, man. Is that? Uh, let me start at uh, nine. Revelation thirteen verse nine. It says, "If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity." See, because they led us into, into captivity as a nation of people. They done that. So they're as a nation of people. They're going into slavery. Because the scripture says, "The Lord is not mocked." That that a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So reaping time is coming around for uh, the so-called white man. It says, um, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. And this is what we're patiently and faithfully waiting on. See? And the scripture says, though it tarry, wait for it. We just got to be patient, kick back, and just watch this shit all cave in. And, and, and a Lord, hey, just, just chill. Just chill. Because one thing about the Hebrew Israelites, you know, we never, or at least GMS, you know, we're not into violence. We just come out, we teach the scriptures, and hey, and, and, because our um, weapons are not carnal. Our weapons are spiritual. So Esau got a deal, man. You know, <laughs> we come out, teach the scriptures, and them scriptures be kicking their ass, man. Just, just teach the scriptures. Let them scriptures come out, and, 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 and let them scriptures just whoop Esau ass over the head, man. You don't have, we don't have to worry about nothing. We just patiently, <laughs> patiently and faithfully waiting on our Lord to come to really get down on this man. Because you ain't seen nothing yet. But this is the beginning of his fall, man. This damn economy is tanking. You got um, your, your suicide rate through the damn roof. Your opioid uh, uh, drug. The Esau is, 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 is them drugs doing them dirty. They're all divided up. They can't get along. And the scriptures talks about how um, a, a kingdom divided cannot stand. And that goes for all these Edomites globally. They, they don't get along. And so their whole system of things is falling and caving in, man. And we love it, man. So this is a beautiful thing. I don't want to keep this long. Because like I said, you know, when you, you know, when we go into these articles, or if you got like this news break app or any of these, these apps, and they have a comment section, read some of the comments and see how people are talking. <laughs> that'll show that'll show you a gang, man. These so-called white people, man, they through. And see, they keep talking about this Democrat shit. Democrat, Republican. It don't make no difference. Democrat or Republican. This place is gonna fall. The Democrats blame it on the Republicans. The Republicans blame it on the Democrats. It don't make no damn difference. This place is gonna fall, man. Let me see what else they got. <laughs> Yeah. See? Democrats created this shit. Dumb people. <laughs> Said our economy was way better under the Republicans. You keep paying those high Democrats prices. <laughs> Says every everyone commenting here. I'm sure your people all came here legally. Please, your selective outrage is comical. For 400 years, illegals have been constantly arriving and occupying the continent. 
Yet when it becomes someone's inconvenience for you, you start crying about it. Give your mommy her phone back and go wipe your nose. <laughs> hey, 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 yeah, hey. Esau is starting to be seen as the damn enemy, man. Everybody's starting to see that Esau, hey, that, that, that 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3 is coming out. Everybody's starting to see Esau as the damn devil, man. The so-called white man, he's fucked, he's fucked this place up. Everybody is struggling, man. Even his own people, and he doesn't care. So when it straight comes down to it, what this is really leading up to is that Revelation 13, 16, that mark of the beauty and the beast, baby. Well, you're not going to be able to buy or sell unless you take this man's implant. Because that's what's coming next. That's, this is what it's all leading up to. And so lock it for me not bringing it out earlier. <laughs> but, but this is what it's all leading up to. This is leading up to that dollar going to crash and they're going to make some fucking excuse as to how, why you need to come down with your children and let us put this damn thing in you. With their cryptocurrencies and their CBDCs and all that. Hey, all that shit is leading up to cashless society and them wanting to put that thing in you. And we warning you people, man. I'm praying to you. How about Shimmy? I was shy, man. Ooh, I would never, never, ever, ever. Because, you know, people be saying what they saying. You know, you got food in the refrigerator now, food in your cabinets and shit now. But when hunger hits, because they're in control of the food, they're going to be in control. They, they, it's gonna, hey, <laughs> they're in control of the food, the water, the drink, whatever. And they're going to have an ultimatum out here. And you're going to take this damn market of beauty and the beast or... Your ass gonna starve. And once people's stomach started growling, it's gonna get nasty out here. Because first off, people gonna start robbing each other. That's going off in the second address, man. Chapter 15, I think that is. People gonna start robbing. Neighbors gonna be robbing neighbors. And once that ha once that ends out, when there's nothing else to grab, you know, it's gonna be people they they're gonna be lining up, man. They're going to be lining up to let the so-called woe to eat. Woe, woe to them that go down to Egypt, man. At Isaiah 31. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Y'all better fucking repent. And call on, on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Call on Yahweh and repent in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, man. And get rid of white Jesus. Because all y'all out here that's going to be praying to white Jesus, you're not going to get no help. You're going to get you're going to get it the worst. More, uh, yeah, pretty much the worst. Because you're going to be trusting in the damn idol. And the Lord not dealing with no idols, man. So I just wanted to touch on that for a hot sec. I seen it. And I'm like, okay. Hey, this guy, he know a little something, something about some money. He in that world. You know, I, I can I can take some of his, you know, little knowledge on things. You know, I've seen him on Shark Tank before. Some of the shit he be saying, like, all right, yeah, this he, he, hey, he know a little something, something about that bread. But anyway, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Call me on show.